Welcome to a Maslin Library tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to reset your pin if you've forgotten it, as well as a few other features of my account. So we're going to start here where it says Library Login. It's going to ask us to sign in. If you do remember your pin number, great. If you don't, then please follow along with these steps. So enter your last name and then your whole barcode number. And then if you don't remember your PIN, hit Submit. Or if you've forgotten your PIN and you've tried several times already, just hit your Forgot Your PIN. Once here, this is the place where you can enter your last name, enter your barcode number. When you hit Submit, it's going to ask you if you want to save, don't save, and it said that you've gotten an email. So I'm going to go to my email, and here is a request to reset PIN. Click on the link, and then input your information again, and then enter a new PIN number. Hit Submit, and your PIN has now been saved. And I'm not going to save that information. So now I can come to my account, log in with my new PIN number, hit submit, and now I'm at my My Library account. My Library account has a number of really great features. The first of which is here are, these, are your checked out items. If you've received an email from us and we email everybody automatically three days prior to whenever their book or item is due, then you can come to your My Account, hit the Renew button, click either Renew All, Renew Marked, and it's going to ask me would I like to proceed, yes. And then it's going to tell you right here under status whether or not your item was renewed. Please remember there are a few items that the library has that do not renew through the online service. You'll have to have it renewed at the library front desk. You can do so by calling us or by stopping in with your student ID or with the item itself. So now that it's renewed, I will be okay and I don't have to worry about any fines or charges. You can update your personal information. So if your email has changed, um, then you can do that. I'm going to hit cancel. You can modify your pin here if you forget. You can set up preferred searches. So if there's something that you're working on for class, uh, you're constantly working on a project for the whole semester, instead of having to redo that search all the time from one of our search boxes, you can come here and you can create a preferred search. These can be much, much bigger. And then you just hit search and it's gonna automatically search for those items for you within our catalog. All right, return to my record. It also has your reading history. A number of times I've had students who have accidentally returned their items prior to grabbing the information that they're going to need to create their bibliography or work cited for their paper. In that case, you can come here and all of these titles are clickable. So that way you can say, okay, research strategies. And all of the information you need for your bibliography work cited is right here. So you don't have to come back in and recheck the book out. You can just look at your reading history. And then we also have My Lists. And so for My Lists, you can create reading lists, you can create books you'd like to own, you can have all sorts of different lists in here if you really like to. And to do that, you can come here and you can say, okay, subject, I'm working on church history. And you can view the whole collection, main campus, system sorted, or you could say most recent year, call number material type. I'm going to go by year, and I'm going to hit search. You can also limit to available items, but in this case I'm building a new list. So in this list, I can select things that I like, and then to create my list, all I need to do here is say add marked item to my lists, and it's been marked, or you can create a new list. So that way you have a new list that you're going to add this to. And you can name this Church History Submit. So now I have three records in my Church History. So when I go to my record, 
and I have my lists, I now have church history and to read for InfoLit. If you have any additional questions or want to learn more about what you can do with my account, give us a call or email us at library.karen.edu. Have a great day. Thank you.